Hey everyone, as you can see this is a pretty quick video today, but we wanted to address something we noticed in the 2020 holiday sweaters that could potentially prove one of our theories correct. On Christmas Eve 2017, Thomas released an episode of Sanders Sides called the Sanders Sides 12 Days of Christmas. This video features the four main sides, each with their own personalized sweater. This wasn't just for the video, as Thomas released them for fans to buy. Every year since, Thomas has released a line of Christmas sweaters for the sides, adding Remus and Janice's personal sweaters in 2019. Though all the sweaters are awesome, we want to specifically talk about the 2020 sweater pack. It is clear upon first glance that almost all of the sides' 2020 sweaters represent a Christmas movie or theme. Patton's is modeled after a gingerbread cookie, decorated with icing and different colors of sprinkles. Logan's is based on the movie The Polar Express, the coveted hot chocolate, Santa's sleigh bells, the train tickets, and the train itself on the front of the sweater, along with various books. Virgil's seems to be a reference to the story of Rudolph, with the reindeers adorning the sleeves and his logo creating a foggy snowstorm. Roman and Remus's sweaters go hand in hand, inspired by the story of the Nutcracker and the Rat King. Both are cartoon-like versions of their usual attires, but Roman's sash has small toy nutcrackers and Remus's has tiny rats. Janice's sweater is different. It is not related to Christmas in any way. The front features green scales on the right side, a clear reference to Janice's half-scaled face, icy chains down the sleeves, and alternating light gray, dark gray, black, and yellow stripes. The back features a two-headed snake and a number of slitted pupil eyeballs. There are also several scattered insignias that represent Janice, such as a bowler hat, a cane, and the scales of justice on both the front and the back. Today we want to focus on Janice's sweater, or more specifically, the stripes on the front and the chains on the sleeves. We believe these stripes are not just a simple pattern, but rather a map of the circles of hell. Some of you watching may already know where this is going. If you're new to the channel, we released our first video about seven months ago. This video delved into biblical lore and canon to investigate what the orange side could possibly represent. We won't get too into that here, but we recommend that you watch that video before watching any more of this one. Now in that original video, we talked about the book Dante's Inferno, a detailing of a man named Dante's journey through the circles of hell. Throughout the story, Dante creates a map of the nine circles of hell in which the circles are stacked vertically with the first circle on top. Each circle worse than the last and they lead downward to the center of hell where Lucifer resides. Each stripe of Janice's sweater is a circle of hell, starting with the open space above the yellow stripe. The space represents limbo. Though considered a circle, limbo is a place for those who are not bad enough to receive damnation, but did not accept Christ. The three yellow snake-like figures on the sweater may represent the trapped souls there. The first stripe, which is yellow, symbolizes the second circle of lust. The second stripe is light gray and represents the third circle of gluttony. The third stripe is black and represents the fourth circle of greed. The fourth stripe is a dark gray with a yellow eye in the middle. This is the fifth circle wrath which features the city of Dis. Dis might explain why this stripe is the outline of a city skyline. More on this stripe in a minute. The fifth stripe is black and seems to form a short skyline. The stripe is the sixth circle. Heresy. The sinners in heresy are trapped in flaming tombs, shaped very similar to the silhouettes on the sweater. The sixth stripe is dark gray and is another silhouette, more similar to rock formations than a city. This is circle seven, known as violence. Dante describes the circle as being surrounded by towers of jumbled rocks. The seventh stripe is the eighth circle of hell fraud. It is light gray and forms several spikes. Fraud is described as, quote, large spurs of rock like spokes. The final stripe is yellow and is the ninth circle treachery. Let's talk about the fourth stripe, or more importantly, the fifth circle of hell, wrath. In our first video, we came to the conclusion that the orange side would essentially be wrath, but would most likely go by rage. This theory is only enforced by this sweater. The fifth circle is clearly the centerpiece, being the most detailed and having that yellow eye in the center. As we know, Janice is the metaphorical wall between Thomas and the dark sides. He keeps them from Thomas and chooses when they should make themselves known. If the sweater is truly the map of hell, Janice is essentially keeping an eye on the fourth stripe slash fifth circle. 
We also know that the orange side, whatever he may represent, is scarier or in some way more threatening than Remus and Janus. Though Thomas has never confirmed this, there is a reason that Janus saved him for last. If Remus was the worst side of Thomas, why would they introduce another side after him? This brings us to the chains on the sleeve. With the knowledge that the orange side will be more of a threat than any side we've met so far, and the representation of Janus's eye on wrath, we suggest that Janus is not hiding the orange side from Thomas as much as he is holding the orange side back. Just a couple of things worth noting that we couldn't fit into the main bulk, but we thought you might like. First, all of the dark gray stripes represent a circle of hell with a river in it. The river Phlegathon is in the seventh circle. Styx is in the fifth, and the collar of the sweater is the river Archeron that lays just above Limbo. Second, all of the dark side sweaters have a color of another dark side on it. Virgil's has yellow, Janus's has green, and Remus has purple. Finally, the chains on Janus's sleeves seem to have ice forming on them. This may be a reference to Dante's description of the circle of treachery being frozen over. Treachery is the where the worst liars go, Janus's domain, and wrath is notoriously hot, so this may be Janus's way of containment. We hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit video.